Hi Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for September 2022. This is a general love reading for Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can get all that information in the description box below this video. And also keep in mind that the roles can also be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on with you in a love connection for September 2022. All right, for the situation, we have the Hanged Man crossed by the Ace of Swords. All right, okay, so um, there's a little bit of stalling here, a little bit of, um, possibly waiting before taking action with the ace of swords being in the challenge position this is all about um taking initiative taking that first step and actually putting something into practice or putting something into action but it feels like um either you or another person is kind of holding back um waiting for now and possibly just kind of observing the situation before before taking a step um let's see for your energy we have the eight of cups the hermit and the nine of cups um well you're definitely there's a situation here that you have either walked away from or you have begun detaching yourself emotionally from this um and it feels like, you know, when you did that or as you're doing that, if this is happening for you right now, um, you're really turning inwards, um, just really introspecting and kind of keeping to yourself. And I do see that whatever, whatever this is that you are detaching from or moving away from, it's actually leading you to happiness. It's leading you to some kind of a, a fulfillment. Let's see for the other person. We have the Chariot, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with uh, Cancer. We also do have Virgo, okay, in your reading as well. Um, okay, this is somebody who was possibly a little bit impatient for something. So either either they ran away from you or they were moving very, very quickly towards you, okay? One or the other. Um, whatever that action is that this person was taking or has taken, it has actually led them to a lot of pain, possibly regret, um, feeling guilty. They're not in a very good space currently. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of grieving over this situation. I do see them um, really having you on their minds here, all right, with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's you and they, there's just something here. There's something here that they are either regretting or just feeling very, very sad about. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Four of Swords. All right, so it feels like, you know, whatever it is that is happening here, there's a movement towards peace. At least for you. Um, it looks that way, but I'm getting that it's actually also for the other person. There's some kind of healing here that is happening because of whatever the dynamic has been between the two of you. So let's actually clarify and get more details here. Let's see that hanged man with the ace of swords. Who is it that is just kind of standing by... Or just feels like somebody has pressed pause or is like on standby before making the next move. I kind of feel like that is you. <clears throat> but it definitely could be your person. Alright, so Hanged Man with the Ace of Swords, please. And we have the Nine of Wands. The Devil. Okay, so Capricorn. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so whoever it is that is um, waiting here, and I feel like you would know who this is, um, it's been a very, very difficult path. 
Um, it, it almost feels like giving up, but I feel like whoever this is has not given up. If anything, what they're doing is um, detaching themselves from a very toxic pattern or from a very toxic situation. So again, I actually feel like, like this is you. Um, but of course it could be your person, just take the messages as they resonate, okay? <clears throat> But yeah, if this is you, I, I see you fully detaching yourself from something that has been very unhealthy for you. Um, for some of you, it could be an addiction. For others of you, it's a situation or, or a person. And this is not something easy. I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth here. And it's been an exhausting an exhausting ride. But it's like you're doing it. You are gaining your independence away from that, from whatever it is that has been unhealthy. And it feels like at the moment, this is why you are waiting. It's almost like, you know, there's a period where you need in order to either recover or to just fully process and explore or inspect this situation, but more so to explore within your own self what it is that has happened before you take the next step. So it feels like an assessment. It's like you're making an assessment, like you're already detaching, but I feel like at the moment, right, also with this hermit being in like your current energy, you're assessing, you're doing a lot of introspection before deciding on what your next move is. All right. Let's see that eight of cups. All right, and we have ooh, the world and the knight of swords. Wow, look at, yeah, you're out. You're out of something here. There's a cycle that is complete. There's a cycle that has been done. You've closed out that chapter. You're walking away. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's like the more time passes, the qu more quickly you're actually walking away from this and the more quickly you're just like ultimately putting an end to this. So again, whatever that toxic cycle was, you're, you're closing that out. Okay, let's see that Nine of Cups for what you are moving toward or what is coming up here in September for you. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups again. Yeah, I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're walking away from, if you have any hesitation here, don't. Um, if this is resonating for you, I mean, the message is very, very clear. Walking away from whatever it is that you have been walking away from, it's going to be successful. You are successfully closing this out. And not only that, it's empowering you. It's leading you to happiness, to finding what it really is that is going to make you happy. And it's helping you to feel empowered and to stand strong to find confidence. And not only that, it's like, you know, you're you're very desirable here. You are extremely, extremely desirable and attracting what it is that you want and what it is that's going to make you happy. So let's see what's going on with this other person here that is in some way attached to you. Let's see the chariot. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It almost feels like this person didn't even really know what they were getting themselves into with whatever action it is that they took here. This person definitely took some action and it's still not very clear um, in what direction. And I have a feeling that for some of you it's going to be that this person was... Um, Possibly taking some like impulsive, maybe a little bit of immature kind of actions where it may relate to somebody from their, from their past. Um, for others of them, this could even involve some kind of a marriage. It's not very clear. And then for yet others, it's that they moved very, very quickly or felt very, very impatient towards you. Now, I'm not saying that that is what has pushed you away. If you have 
if, if this is the person you've moved away from, I mean, it could be that you've moved away from a completely different situation here, but there's someone here who has been feeling um, either extremely impatient and has moved either very quickly towards you, either in the physical or energetically, or they moved the other way. Um, for those of you where this person is wanting this, it feels like, you know, this person is seeing you as their soul connection and the person that they would actually want some commitment, uh, long-term commitment with, not some commitment, <laughs> long-term commitment with. Um, this person is feeling that sense of longing and nostalgia for you, regardless of whether I'm even getting for some of you, you may not have even met this person. And for the others of you, it's definitely somebody from your past, all right, with the Six of Cups. Um, so a lot of different scenarios playing out here. Um, you, you would know, I think, if which one um, resonates with you. But someone here has definitely either taken action or is feeling very impatient. Okay, um, let's clear this up. Let's see this Five of Cups. Let's see what's going on now. All right, let's see what flipped over here. Okay, we got quite a few. <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands, and we have the page of swords so two pages and an ace all right yeah the, either this person is um regretting something that they said um or again an action that they took um that may have been again a little bit impulsive so i'm getting both scenarios showing up again um, because for some of you, this is somebody who has a lot of feelings for you. Actually, I'm getting that for, for all of them here, whatever it is, this person is feeling apologetic, all right, regardless of which scenario, um, they fall under, all right, whichever group they fall under, in all cases, there's, there's guilt here. There's this, um, they're feeling this need to express and tell you either how they're feeling or apologize about something, especially concerning um, some kind of an impulsive behavior, which may have been towards you or it may have been away from you, this impulsive behavior. However, this person is really regretting it and wanting a fresh new start here with you. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords showing up again. A lot of aces in this um, in this reading. I definitely feel a new a new start just coming in for you. All right, either way, this there's a person here who definitely wants a new start with you. It may or may not be somebody from your past, but this person is definitely. Their energy is here, and your energy is all over them, 100%. Um, they're wanting this. They're wanting a new beginning with you, but they're wanting things to be peaceful. I feel like they really want to resolve something, possibly from the past. Um, for those of you who have known this person, um, if it's somebody new that you don't know yet, this is just somebody who is looking for something peaceful and they're feeling that from you. Um, they're feeling that from you. They're feeling like the sense of peace coming in. Because that Four of Swords here, it's in the potential outcome, which I'm getting is actually both of your energy. So you are going to be in this energy of the Four of Swords as well. Kind of like, you know, whatever it is that you have walked away from, you are recovering from that. So you are, you are at peace. And then this person is moving towards that as well, wanting that and like attracting that as well. So yeah, it's it's kind of like you're you're attracting each other. Um, you might not be attracted to them depending on you know the situation from the past, um, but this person is definitely like feeling attracted by you by your energy. 
and wanting to resolve um, whatever situation may need to be resolved here. Let's see the Four of Swords for the potential outcome. And we have the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Wands. It, it almost feels like there's a lot of different possibilities here. Um, it, it's like this, um, this healing that you're doing, this recovering from whatever situation you're walking away from. It's like it's opening up a lot of doors here for you and it's leading you only to success. And I feel like, you know, you're still, as you're healing and even in the time period afterwards, it's like there's a little bit of a resting period where you still might not be taking that like like big step or like a big action in terms of starting something new. I feel like you're still kind of processing it here. Um, just kind of like, um, exploring all of your, all of your options here, especially in terms of, in terms of love and how to proceed. And that's okay. I feel like, you know, by doing that, it's all leading up to something, um, that's going to be very successful. Yeah, Taurus. It's looking pretty good. Um, it might still feel a little bit strange. I'm getting like a strange vibe um, from your energy just because like, you know, it's like ending a major chapter in your life. Um, this other person, again, I feel like it's at least two different scenarios um, playing out here. Hopefully it made sense to you which one, um, which one you resonate with. But either way, I'm seeing a very beautiful ending for you here, a very beautiful potential for you in September. All right, so let's get a final oracle message from the unicorns, which could be anything, okay? Just any message that might be meant for you to hear at the moment. And we have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. So yeah, you know, whatever it is that you are doing here, you know, don't, don't hesitate to either ask for support or to let others support you through this. I definitely feel like for the most part, you're doing it on your own, um, which is why this card is showing up. Or if there is, you know, if for some of you, maybe it's this person, um, and this person might show up and actually, you know, be there by your side to support you through whatever this other situation is up here. Um, so that is it, Taurus. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.